Hey guys, what's up? So today I've got a quick uh, sales brochure review for you. Um, so Carpenter, the safest link between home and school. On the front cover here we've got a Carpenter Lodestar with the uh, fiberglass hood. And there's the Carpenter body. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open to the front page. Uh, Carpenter, ahead of its class. So we've got a Carpenter uh, Lodestar, probably the same bus from the front page. It says, Stop State Law, which means it's an Ohio bus. Uh, I do believe this photo has been in other sales brochures I've reviewed in the past, so uh, you've probably seen it before. Right here we've got a front engine. Now right there it just calls it the new forward control uh, bus. I don't think... Yeah, it talks about the Corsair, but it doesn't call this uh, anything other than a forward control bus. I do believe that the front engine would end up being called the Cavalier. Uh, so there's the bare chassis. Uh, there's the interior, so like right in the doorway where the steps are and right up into the uh, doghouse for the engine. And then we've got pictures of students and then a crosswalk sign. Next page, Carpenter puts safety first with heavy duty materials and unitized body construction. So uh, this diagram, you guys have seen it before, it's almost in all the Carpenter sales brochures I've reviewed. Uh, again, just it shows you the different uh, gauges of steel um, and then the different features of the body. And then here are the uh, different points to go along with the actual uh, diagram. Uh, over here looks like we've got a body actually being put together. You can see they're putting adhesive on there to uh, stick the panels on before they actually rivet them in. And then down here looks like we've got two different pictures of uh, different parts of the body structure being welded together. On the next page, from top to bottom, carpenter quality. So this just shows you all the different coatings that the bus actually gets. Uh, right here we've got some different pictures of the structure being put together so there's the actual floor of the body uh, right here you've got a roof being made uh, so at this time Carpenter made their roofs separately from the rest of the body and then they would get attached um, so you can see they've got the actual assembly line for the roofs uh, right here we've got the back of a carpenter getting painted uh, more pictures of students and a stop sign there's someone undercoating the bottom of the bus. On the next page, there is great inherent strength in the unitized carpenter bus body. So right here, we've got a carpenter body being put on a Ford chassis. Uh, there is a similar picture to this where it's a carpenter body being put on an international chassis, like an S-series. Uh, but this one's got a Ford chassis and an older carpenter body. Up here, we've got two different pictures of a uh, mounting bracket and then the actual frame rails. Test confirm Carpenter's extra margin of safety. So right here looks like we've got the roof of a Carpenter bus with some weight on it as a stress test. This picture right here looks like we've got different equipment in the actual bus probably to uh, test different stresses and stuff like that on the body of the bus. Um, and then right there you can see it says epoxy stronger than steel and I'm assuming that that's some of the epoxy they're talking about and then there's a stress test for what I'm assuming is the metal sheeting new comfort and safety in passenger seating so right here we've got carpenter seats there's one right there that's actually showing you um, the different layers of the seat down at the bottom watch for children uh, over here we've got the inside of a carpenter bus with students there's the driver's seat. There's a better view of the uh, driver's area. Doors and windows reflect carpenter quality. So we've got the different door options. We've got a jackknife. We've got a uh, panic-free door. So that's a so that's where both doors actually open outwards. Uh, and then a sedan door. It doesn't look like we have a one-in, one-out door in this sales brochure. Uh, there's a carpenter bus with its rear door open. Uh, that photo has been in previous sales brochures, as has this photo of a carpenter doorway. Uh, right here we've got a carpenter. Looks like he's going down the road. You've got some older cars there in the background, obviously, since this sales brochure is... Uh, I'm not sure when exactly it's from, but obviously sometime in the 70s. 
Uh, there's the door from the inside of the bus. Got the larger window and then a smaller window on the side. Uh, there's the front of a carpenter. And then uh, carpenter windows. So you can see she's opening it right there. Next page, the carpenter margin of comfort in heating and ventilating. So right here we've got the console there with the switch panels and the heating elements uh, and different pictures of the heaters. Right here you've got a flow diagram for where the heat uh, disperses throughout the bus. Over here, carpenter accessories. So a lot of these accessory photos have been in other sales brochures, but we'll go ahead and look at them real quick. Uh, got luggage racks. There's a bus with luggage storage in the back. Roof rack. More luggage racks. Tow hooks. Uh, aluminized panels. Thermo sealed window. Uh, electric sign. Flip sign. Defroster fan. Sliding battery tray, rub or snow rail mud flap, um, security lock, uh, different styled mirrors, light monitor, a full size mud flap, um, emergency exit windows, sanders, air conditioning, um, underseat heater, AM FM radio, carpenter cadet CV, the economical way. To, oh. So on the next page, we've got the Carpenter Cadet CV, the economical way to bus smaller groups. Uh, so right there we've got a Carpenter Cadet. It's got the visors on it. That looks pretty good. Um, and over here you can see how small the Cadet actually is. It's about the size of a car. I think that car might be a little bit bigger. Uh, so there's a wheelchair inside of a Cadet. There's an actual Cadet with a lift. That Cadet has four ways, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's another cadet with four ways and an actual lighted sign. Got a sp speed limit sign for a school zone. Down here, the cadet CV offers a choice of seating styles, seating plans, seating capacities. So you can see we've got uh, different sizes uh, that the cadet could have came in. On the next page, Carpenter builds better buses to order for many transportation needs. So right here we've got a Corsair, looks to be a full size one too. Uh, and then over here we've got different uh, specialty buses. There's that bus that was built for a zoo. There's a cadet airport shuttle. There's a city or transit special charter, you can see what it says. Um, different seat options you can get in uh, multi-purpose buses. There's a wheelchair bus. Um, probably for some type of retirement home or something like that. And then over here, carpenter specifications. And then on the back page, contents. And then we've got this carpenter Lodestar, definitely from Ohio. You can see the Ohio inspection sticker. Uh, this bus has been in other sales brochures uh, that I have reviewed. There's the carpenter logo. You can see this came from Indianapolis, or a dealership in Indianapolis. Uh, so yeah, that is this Carpenter sales brochure. Um, I'm not sure what exact year, um, maybe 79 since it says 79 right there, not exactly sure. Uh, but I thought you guys would like to see it, and it's been a while since I've done a sales brochure review. Uh, so with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know what you think.